Hi. So I just want a quick chat about, um, so if you're on this mindfulness journey of self-discovery and um, concentrating on your inner self and becoming aware and conscious and able to respond and react to others, be able to choose the good things and the good habits, the good life for yourself and your future and taking responsibility for your own life, then it can, I just wanted to point out some ways where it can be quite difficult to, to, sorry you can see the glare in that, to show the, to show other people the journey that you're going on to. So if you have someone, if you have someone, if you go to them, why don't you do mindfulness? You know, you can see that these people, your friend or somebody who's got a lot of problems and they're repeating the same cycle over and over again. And you just want to say that if you go on this mindfulness journey, if you go on the inner spiritual journey, you can overcome th this and realize you're the one that's important and start to make the right choices and start to do the right things. So it can seem very much, you know, we want to just help and tell these people, want to problem solve these people, and we want to help as much as we can, but we've got to be careful if we're imposing, you know, our viewpoint on onto their, on in their lives. And and we, we really should just be there for them to listen to them and to understand them. As we're all human, we're just trying to get life through life in whatever way we can, which is manageable for us. And because people are really quite restricted to wanting to change, and they, they're they not like, yes, I want to change, I want my life to be changed and different constantly, People, most people are terrified of the thought of change, and they like the routine, and they like the lifestyle, and they like to keep things as it is. And and so, which is unfortunately the only thing in life that is a constant is change. So trying to get people to understand something they're terrified of and they really want to stay away from is difficult. And so instead of instead of forcing maybe our viewpoints on other people. We, we can just be there for them, we can listen to them and we can just show them that by what you're doing is, is working really well, you know, your the benefits that will that will happen for you will be immeasurable, you know, and people can see that. And then people might not know how to react to that and they could react badly to that or you know it you if somebody won't change this person won't change and you want to change, you want to go on this self-discovery and this journey, you want to rise and you want to grow and you want to reach the top and you want to achieve greatness within you because that's all that really can be reached, you know? And, and so that's all that matters. And it's responsibility for yourself to get yourself to, you know, to reach, um, to reach a better you every day. And so if you're aiming for that, amazing for one, but like, great and continue. But understand that other people could be a family, your own family, it could be your kids, you, you know, it could be your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. They might be like, there is no way I want to do this. You know, there is no way I want to change. There is no way... I want to apply mindfulness into my life. I want to go on this journey. You know, the whatever excuses or whatever reasons they might have in their life for not wanting to to do this, that's not up to you to make that change um, in them and for them. And so just making that right decision for you may may make you grow, may make them stay and that's then really difficult 
to communicate with them, for them to understand you, for you to understand them, because it, it would be a constant, it can be negative, it can be wanting to really zone on them and work with them and, and stuff. And if they're not growing like you are, it's not going to be possible. And it's something that I've really, really had to come to grips with. And you have to make the most, you know, difficult situation, difficult, um, it's the most difficult outcomes that come with feeling you have to separate from somebody and, and you know, your friends and your family, or whatever, who who aren't supporting you on this journey or aren't going to be able to be there for you or you're not going to be able to be there for them because you realise what awareness is and how to become aware. And once that, once that you've you've realised that you become aware of that, it's it's not. It's, see, it's extremely difficult to explain because it's not something explainable. <laughs> but like. <laughs> Maybe it is, like, I just don't know. But like, you have to focus on you. And so whatever way possible you can just thrive, maybe you have to change your atmosphere, maybe you have to change your friends, maybe you have to change your, you know, maybe you come distant from your family. Maybe you can't, you can't be with the person that you're with in a relationship anymore. You know, all these factors. And it can be stressful and it can be heartbreaking and painful. And I know, <laughs> I understand completely with you. And when you come to this, like, junction and you don't know which way to turn, just always know that there are other people out there who can understand you, who want to understand you, who want to listen to you, who care for you and who love you. Um, and maybe you don't know them yet. But until you find someone who, and people around you in the atmosphere that you're in, being not your workplace, I, I don't know, but like I had to come out of workplaces before because I was literally like, I walked in and it was, I was like a completely different human being to anyone. <laughs> and so I stand out like in a nutcase, you know, I'm like, why is everyone so, you know, what, how do I cope with this? These people who are acting in these certain ways and are, you know, reacting to people badly and being mean and and so it's a you know a lot of ego and a lot of selfish views and a lot of ways that people are trying to force themselves into being someone that they're not because who is like that that's nothing that's this society that's built us up into this in parents and atmosphere and whatever it is that's just like constructed us into this personality and being and so it's stripping back off all of that for your whole life is di isn't easy and is difficult and there are going to be lows so just understand trust the process that you're on trust the journey that you're on trust yourself and trust the world that whatever you're thinking good or bad you'll attract and no the time is right when things happen, right? So you could think, oh, I wish this would happen now, but I wish this person would change, or I wish this could be like this, I wish, and and it, it's not, it's not something we want to dwell on, and yeah, we, we have to step outside of ourselves on that one. And unfortunately may have to say goodbye to to people we don't want to say goodbye to. And um, it can seem the most difficult thing to do, but you can live a constant life of of pain or torture, you know, and mental exhaustion because you're trying to 
always make this person better, always helping them try to change, and they aren't having any of it. <laughs> and so there's no point there is no point. And if you think, oh, but this person's this, 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 and it's perfect, you know, or you my family and my friends and, and I can't because I've known them for years or I've done this and what would I do without them and who would I, you know, forget everything. Forget everything because none of that's important. What is important is you and yourself and the way you grow. And so I just wanted to quickly send that message through. I love you people. That was a bit serious, wasn't it? But I'm like all in the moment and really wanted to just help. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>